And welcome back to the Dawn Show. We have a lot of mom bloggers in the house, so join in on the conversation. And my next mom blogger is Colleen Kennedy, who's the founder of Souffle Bombay Blog. So welcome, Colleen. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it smells great in here. You have a lot of great creations. You know what? When the holidays roll around, I think it's extra fun to cook with your kids. I mean, I have a great time cooking for parties myself, adult food. But when you can come up and make a craft that you can eat or gift, it's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get started. What's sure. your first thing? You're, and I know your daughter is, is usually your expert, right? My nine-year-old daughter <laughs> is trying to take over my blog. <laughs> she loves to cook, and she, you know, she'll push me out of the way. But today, today I'm flying solo. <laughs> it's all you. Um, so everybody knows pizzelles are a wonderful treat um, come the holidays. They're delicious by themselves. But if you want to kick it up a notch for your kids to do a craft that they can eat or gift, why not, when you make them, kind of fold them in half while they're still hot, and dip away in your favorite chocolates and just decorate, like put a bunch of bowls out for the kids to just go at it. That's so cute. And, and they're festive. fun for teacher gifts too this time of year to, you know, bring them a little something extra as well. Absolutely. Grandmom and grandpa appreciate anything homemade. <laughs> so, I mean, pizzelles are easy to make. Not everybody has a pizzel iron, but you know what? I think once you start eating them and you just enjoy the flavor, whether you're making them with anise or vanilla or chocolate or whatever you want to do, it's a, it's a worthwhile investment. They're, they really don't run much, and they usually last you for about 20 years. And pizzelles take about a minute to cook. Okay, and so some of the toppings, so in other words, it's whatever, whatever kind of chocolate you love, whatever idea that you have. Whatever you have that you want to do. My daughter keeps telling me, why can't we fill them with icing? And I'm like, well, let's just hold back on the sugar <laughs> for a second. So I think a little corner dipped is perfect. Okay. It gives them the fun of cooking. You're making memories. I mean, holidays, don't you have memories from when you were a kid? Absolutely. And you think about your grandmother, your mom, disasters, yeah, masterpieces. Right. right, sticking my moms always would stick, you know, the funny. But I think some of them too, even if you if it were something that were gonna be served immediately, could do fresh raspberries or blueberries or something Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we did this really quick. Okay. And what you'd wanna do is, when your pizzelles are still warm, okay. you could just gently fold them. And they're gonna take the shape of however you fold them. So whether you're putting them over a bowl to make, you know, fill with ice cream or even use as a candy bowl that they can eat, or just fold them, you let them cool, you dip away, and you have a blast. Oh, this is wonderful. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's actually beautiful. Yeah, it's fun, it smells delicious. Next up, we have, this is my son's favorite. He's been making this since he was about two. They're edible pretzel wreaths. So it's, a, it's again, a craft that you can eat. So kids, all they have to do is take the pretzels. Again, mm -hmm. pick the kind of chocolate that you want. Dip away in the chocolate. I mean, this is like, even if you're having a holiday party, you set the kids up with, you know, disposable, um, Tablecloth and just let them go, let at, them go it. at it. Right. At it. Parchment paper is your friend when yes. you're cooking with kids. Indeed. So and you, you just let them kind of go in a circle. So you, you assemble it, use a tray, um, let it go in your refrigerator for a little bit, or your garage, which is the biggest refrigerator and the best refrigerator this, yeah, time, this of year. time of year. And then you let them grab and decorate however they want. So as they make the wreath, I'm gonna scooch these over so you can perfect. see what we're doing. As they make the wreath, as they start to assemble it, they, you know, anything you're gonna put on the chocolate is gonna stick there. So you get the mini marshmallows. Mini marshmallows, cute little holiday, you know, sprinkles and add-ins, <laughs> yeah, so much stuff. Little m and that's a great thing. You just keep adding in a circle. And when you're done, what's really fun, like you see here hanging on the tree, or okay. on the plate. So you I don't get, know if you can see this one. You get the uh, licorice strings that you can oh, pull apart. Oh, what a great idea. And you make idea. a little bow, or you can make an ornament to hang. Little so, edible hanging right. strings. How cute oh, is that? Is so fun. And the kids love it. So, you know, if you're looking for a present for your little one to make for all their cousins, you put one in a baggie, there it is. Everybody gets one, it's so cute. Oh, this is And you're having wonderful. a good time. And really any flavor that you wanted, you could do white chocolate, dark chocolate, yep. any kind, right? And with the invention of microwaves, how easy <laughs> is it to melt chocolate? I mean, this is something that's literally gonna take you 15 to 20 minutes to knock out a half a dozen of them. And do you get like a candy bar or do you buy the blocks of it? Everybody has chocolate chips at home right here. Okay. Just get the chocolate chips, melt them a minute, minute and a half in the microwave, just keep easy stirring. Easy peasy. Easy. All right. All right. Oh, this is wonderful. So we have that, a lot of fun. I love it. I'll Next, put this back on your tree. Oh, perfect. Next up, um, another fun thing. My daughter actually made these this year for her teacher. Um, vanilla sugar. If you can get yourself a vanilla bean, just take a whiff of that. Oh, right? smells great. Is there anything great. better? When we cook at home, we always take a moment and smell the vanilla. <laughs> we pass it around. We just close it's our like eyes. It's like a zen kumbaya it is. It's vanilla bean moment. My kids are 12 and 9 now, and we've been doing it since <laughs> they were literally 2. So with the vanilla bean, you just get your knife, go right down the middle, there's so much goodness in a bean. There's all these beautiful beans inside that you can then turn into, you know, use it for drinks, use it for foods, whatever. But all these beautiful beans have so much flavor. So I've never actually seen a real bean. 
Yeah, well, there I, you go. I've never, there believe it is. Believe it or not, Costco had them this season. I usually mail order them. Yeah. I couldn't believe Costco had them, so that was amazing. You're doing a little cheer in Costco. Yeah, I, I was really <laughs> happy. But if you want to make vanilla extract, you just open okay. your beans, split it in half, put a little vodka in there, like okay. I have over here. And these she did about a week ago. So every day she gives it a little shake. Every day it gets a little bit darker. And, you know, in four weeks you have some amazing vanilla extract that is actually much cheaper than buying something this size. Okay. So what a cute little gift. You put a little bow on it, put a little twine on it. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, great it's teacher homemade. gift. And then you can also take a segment of the bean and make vanilla sugar. All you need, everybody has a mason jar. Give that a whiff. Oh, that smells oh, great. Add that to your coffee, sprinkle it on your toast. toast. Delicious. So a vanilla bean can go a long way. Um, so you would just, again, take a vanilla bean, add it to some sugar. Every day the kids are shaking it, having a good time, remembering where they, they hit it. It's a, it's a great gift. So oh, these a lot are great of stuff ideas. Here. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. It was great. Happy We're going to continue on. Happy holidays. Continue on with more mom bloggers when we come right back. Having fun with the mom bloggers here on the Dawn Show. Welcome back. And my next mom blogger is Beth Allen, who is the creator of Hip Chicks Blog. So welcome, Beth. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we're talking about the holidays. We're, we're getting ready. Yes. We've got, had all the appetizers and the drinks and everything like that. And you've got the get down, get real, <laughs> get dirty stuff, right? Well, the, my other blogger friend showed you all the fun stuff. This is the reality <laughs> of what happens when your house is suddenly flooded with guests for Literally. days, days. You have people in your house, they're living there, eating there, and sometimes they are using the facilities and <laughs> things tend to happen. Yeah. So uh, what I brought were some real DIY uh, solutions for those holiday havocs that go wrong. Uh, in your house that are everyday things that we all have to deal this with. This actually just happened to my, my brother and sister-in-law. They had a, a big party and we won't say which relative <laughs> went in and clogged up the toilet. It's like, uh-oh. Well, this happens and nothing will well, slow down the party than when Uncle Buck stops up the toilet <laughs> and everybody's like, oh no, what do we do? So what I want to just remind everybody is that you need to have the right tools on hand and you have to have the right plunger. You can get the flat plunger, it doesn't have the right oomph. You want to make sure that you have a plunger on hand that has this flange. The power. Yes, that gets down and dirty inside your pot. So you want to get down into that bowl and you want to make sure that you're really giving it some good push power to move anything along. And remember, don't stick it in the corner of the bathroom when you're done. Put it in a plastic <laughs> bag and hide it in the closet. Right. Nobody wants to see it. Yeah. If Nasty. you've got a persistent clog, you can snake your own drain. Before you dial the plumber, invest in a $7 snake that you can keep in the closet and you can use by yourself. Simple, easy to use, and it'll clear a lot of clogs. Okay, and just snake it down and get just the clog out. Just snake it down, push the clog forward, disinfect it, and roll it back up. All right, okay. good to go. What's this thing? This is ideal for those sink, tub, and shower clogs. Not for the potty, don't ever crisscross them. But this is great when you've got that slow drain and everybody's using the hall bathroom or the master bathroom. So don't grab the drain cleaners. Try your little mini plunger. Your boys will love this. Yes. My kids love it. They think it's like a um, old video game joystick. <laughs> They're like, that's so cool. Um, the other product I love is a zip it stick. The zip it stick is perfect for the sh tub and the shower with hair clogs. Yes. You know, we women always have those hair. issues, long hair. This is a product which is $2.98 at the Home Depot. And it is reusable. It goes right down into your drain, pulls up your hair clogs, non-toxic, and it's made in the U.S. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Love the zip this it stick. This is a great product. Super. Another dilemma that I know happened to me last Thanksgiving was we were opening wine, had the corkscrew, and it broke in half. And now we're like, oh my gosh, Everybody's perfect. like, here, here, let me get it. Let me get yeah. it, let me get it. And it's crumbling. I went to the garage, I got my drill, Look I put on a nice bit, I went down, backed it out, and voila, the wine is open. <laughs> this is so easy to do. It's even wine stained. It was super easy, and we had just a couple little fragments of cork floating at the top, spoon them out. So you never know when That's you're going to grab your, your, grab your tool bag. Ma mama's armed. Open your wine. <laughs> you're going to need it after the stress of the holidays. Another big dilemma for people is potato peels. 
Thanksgiving, Christmas, everybody's yes. making mashed potatoes, roasted peeling potatoes. Peeling potatoes. And we're peeling and peeling. And my girlfriend's uh, sister-in-law every year comes and she packs her disposer and then jams it. So you got to know how to clear that. So you are going to go underneath the sink. You okay. don't have the luxury of pulling it out and taking a peek. But on the underside of your disposer is an open hole where you take an Allen wrench or a disposer wrench and you put that ip into that space and rotate those blades manually. Okay. You hear the blades? Yes. And that will free Clear up it out. The, the clog before you go stick in your hand in here. Not it, a good never idea. Never a good idea. We're never a good idea. Final 30 seconds. Yep. These guys I have, these are wonderful. Carbona products are awesome. They are perfect for any type of stain you're going to get on your tablecloth, Especially that your red linens, wine. red wine, grease, things. Invest in the whole collection of Carbona. There's about eight of them to cover any stain you encounter. Oh, Beth, thank you so thank much. Thank you. This has been so much fun with all the mom bloggers. We hope we do it all again. Hope you've learned a lot. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good one.